All right, I'm going to use Appendix C that I posted in the course materials forum as a study guide to demonstrate to you what I expect in week two application assignment. How do you put uh, the formulas in Excel and answer the question that I posted? As you can see here, this is the Appendix C. Uh, it's already worked out because it's just a study guide to help you figure out the formulas that you need to type in Excel. Uh, one of the formulas you're going to need to type in Excel is this one right here, the slow formula, okay? And problem number one, it shows you how do you find the demand equation, which it looks like P equal MX plus B. And I show you the steps of how the equation was found, okay? Now, that's what we're going to do in Excel. I suggest you do it first by hand, and once you understand what the problem is about, then you go to... Uh, Excel and type in the formulas. So in Excel, we you had this table, but I'm going to change the table. I'm going to put the values that are in Appendix C, okay? And you can see the values are 42, 20, 50 to 10. So that's what I'm going to type here: 42, 20, 50 to 10. Okay. Let me just double check. I put the numbers in the right place. Yes, I did. Okay. 42, 20, 50 to 10. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate the slope. And uh, But I'm not going to do it. I'm going to instruct Excel to do that. Okay. So in other words, I'm going to instruct Excel to do what you did by hand or what in this case, what I did by hand. Okay. So I want Excel to do this work. So using the slope formula, okay, I'm going to instruct Excel to calculate the slope of the equation. And to do that, I had to, in the yellow cell, I need to type first the equal sign. And I'm going to instruct Excel to subtract 10 minus 20. So I'm going to put parentheses, but I'm not going to type 10. I'm going to tell Excel where is the 10. And the 10 is located on B6. So I just click on the cell B6. Then I'm going to subtract the 20 that is located on B5. Okay, and I close the parentheses. Now I click the division sign. Now I'm going to tell Excel to subtract 52 minus 42. So I'm going to put parentheses, but I'm not going to type 52. I'm going to click where 52 is located. And I'm going to subtract uh, 42, but I'm not going to type 42. I'm going to tell Excel where's the 42 located, which is on A5, and close the parentheses. And what I just type in there is the slope formula. Okay, so I hit enter. And there's my slope, which match exactly with my work that I did by hand. See, negative one. All right. Now, after I work it by hand, I can see that I need the value of B. Okay, and that's what I'm going to type here in the green cell. And based on Appendix C, after I did it by hand, B is 62. So I'm going to go in Excel and on the green cell, I'm going to type 62 and hit enter. And that's my the uh, demand equation. Now I'm going to need this equation, in particular negative 1x plus 62, to calculate the revenue. Okay, so I click on the tab that says revenue, cost, profit. And here where it says B2, okay, I'm going to type the formula to calculate the revenue when I sell zero tiles. All right, so I'm going to start equal. Now, let me go back to the appendix. And if I scroll down, you're going to see the second question was about the revenue equation. And I did it by hand, okay. Again, remember, do this by hand first so you understand what you're doing. And then you go to Excel and you type in the formula, which is really the polynomial. Okay. Now, in this case, see, here's the revenue equation. Well, here's the re revenue formula. And using following the instructions of this assignment, I came up with the revenue polynomial or the formula. So this is exactly what I'm going to type in in Excel, x times negative x plus 62. So I'm going to go to Microsoft Excel and I already typed the equal sign. Remember, every time you type the equal sign, it means that you're going to input a formula. All right. Now I need to subtract. I need to take x. And who's my x in this case? The number of tiles. In this case, zero tiles. So I'm going to uh, select EA2 which is the number of tiles I'm working right now, which in this case is zero. 
I'm going to press the asterisk, which means times. I'm going to open a parentheses. And now I'm going to type uh, the minus x plus 62. Now, instead of typing minus x plus 62, I'm going to do it the other way around. I'm going to type 62 minus x. Now, who is really my x? Zero. And where is zero? On A2. So I'm going to click on A2. And there it is. Close the parentheses. And then hit enter. And that's how much I get uh, in revenue when I sell zero tiles. I'm going to do control C to copy. And I'm going to paste the formula in every single cell underneath that is in yellow. And you can see how the values are uh, coming up. Because again, I don't need to do it by hand. I'm instructing Excel how to do it. See? And I, I'm gonna, I can highlight the whole column in yellow and then con press Control V and you can see how it came out. All the values. Excel does that automatically. All right? I'm going to do the same thing with the cost. Okay, so I'm going to here on C2, I'm going to find the cost of buying zero tiles. So let's go back to the Appendix C. And then you go to the next question the next uh, few questions you can see that after I follow the instructions and all that I came up with the uh, cost equation okay the polynomial that represents the cost which is 6x plus 300 and that's what I'm gonna type in Excel let me go back to Excel and here where it says C2 I press equal and I'm gonna type now the uh, cost polynomial which in this case is 6 times x now who's my x zero and where is zero located on a2 and then what are you going to do next well i'm going to add and how much i'm going to add well according to my work that i did by hand i'm going to add 300 so i'm going to plus 300 and then press enter and there's the cost of buying zero tiles now i'm going to press Control c and i'm going to copy the formula on every cell that is in orange and you can see what is happening all right and again I'm doing it one by one but you can highlight the whole column and paste the formula that you just inserted in C2 and there is the cost automatically Excel calculates it and you can see here on the right side the graph is also created all right let's now find the profit now, how do we find the profit? Well, go back to Appendix C, and you're going to see that the profit, okay, is calculated subtracting the revenue minus the cost, okay? So I'm going to go here in Excel, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to subtract the revenue. So how much is the profit of selling zero tiles? The way I find out is I'm going to take the revenue, and I'm going to subtract the cost. So again, I'm going to type a formula. So I'm going to press equal. And I'm going to subtract the revenue, which is located on B2, minus the cost, which is located on C2. This is how I find the profit for selling zero tiles. Hit enter. And there it is. And let's do the same thing again. Paste the formula on every, oops, sorry for that, uh, on every cell uh, in blue. Okay. And again, I'm doing it one by one, but you can do highlight the whole column in blue and then paste the formula. And there it is. Okay, and that's how you calculate it. And there is the graph of the profit. All right. And once you have input the formulas, you're ready to answer all the questions I posted in the assignment based on the values you see on the tables and based on the graph. I hope this helps.